Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're actually going to be talking about navigating between pages, which sounds super trivial if you come from the web. However, with React Native, the process of navigation, especially all the different library options, makes it quite a bit more interesting to say the least. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so in what we're going to be doing in this video is actually routing, which is something that, again, is not the most simple or, well, straightforward thing in React Native. So the first thing we want to do is just create a new file. Now I'm going to simply just name this file post.js. Now you might be wondering about why I'm naming it post. Well, really, once we get started making our application, this is going to end up being the page that will be the post that you make in your journal, right? I don't know if you would, you may want to call it a page or any of that sort of stuff. I feel like it's a post, like a blog post or a journal post. That makes kind of sense to me. So I have a React um, snippet package that allowed me to just do RCC enter, but basically all we need in here is a standard component. Okay, now next we want to import a view from React hyphen native. Now in addition to view, we're also going to import a text, okay? And it's kind of annoying that React Native needs views and texts just to simply output some text, but that's how it is, right? And uh, this isn't web development here, this is native development. And inside of here, we'll have a view and then a text, and then inside we'll just say new page. Watch as my ESLint cleans it up just a little bit. So you can see here we are exporting a default, well, component name should be post, doesn't really matter, post. Export default class post extends component, and all we're simply doing is returning a text that says new page. Now let's head back to our app.js where the magic for most of this tutorial is going to happen. The first thing we need to do is import our post page. So we're going to import post from dot forward slash post. Right now we don't have any sort of folder structure. Everything's just sort of living in the root here. That will change. Don't worry about that. So we have our post that we're importing. And let's scroll all the way down to our navigator. So if you want to check out our navigator before we had a home screen app. Now let's go ahead and copy this entire line. If you're using VS code, sick tip here, you could hold shift and option and hit down and it's going to copy that entire selected part. So we're going to have a home screen. Again, this name right here for this property doesn't much matter for you overall right now. What matters is that the screen is going to be equal to the component that we just imported. So the post page is going to have a screen that is the post component. Okay, so this right here is letting our navigator know, hey, we got another page. Now you might be wondering what's up with the order of the pages. Well, Anytime we refresh this, it's going to load the first one first, unless we otherwise specify. So because uh, home is loaded first in this list, it's going to load home and not worry about post just yet. So now that the navigator is aware of post, let's go ahead and get navigating. And we could simply add a button, because why not? We can just say button. Now this button is just temporary, uh, allowing us to um, actually just get this uh, navigating here. Now a button is a self-closing element unlike in HTML and we have two properties. We have an on press, okay, and on press is going to, well, take a function and then we're going to also have the title property which is going to be go to post page, okay. Now let's actually head up top here in our component and define a function like we typically would and this can just be um, go to post and this will be equal to a function like this. Now we can call this function on our on press by just simply saying this dot go to post. Okay, so we've done some changes. It's always nice, especially in React Native to head to your app and give this thing a refresh to make sure that everything is still working. You can see we have a go to post page button and it's not doing anything yet because we haven't told it to. 
But like I said, React Native can be temperamental. So uh, if you run into a lot of red, sometimes it's uh, difficult to figure out what's going on without maybe undoing some stuff. So you could see here we have a button on press, go to post. Now in go to post is where we get to do the fun stuff where we actually get to navigate. And we could say this dot props dot navigation. Now navigation comes from the fact that this is a root level page in the Stack Navigator. So you might be wondering, well, what gets access to the this.props.navigation? The components listed here. If we were to have any sort of subcomponent of app, which we will be, uh, we'll have to pass in the props, such as this.props.navigation, to be able to use this.props.navigation. Now we're going to use the method navigate. Now navigate accepts a string which is the name of the page we're going to be going to. Get to that name from this property right here. So we want to be heading to the post. We can navigate to post like this. Now, when we head back to our app, we can click the uh, go to post as long as our bundle is done. And you can see it's actually navigated us. Now our new page doesn't have a title, we'll fix that in a second, but you can see our new page text with an exclamation point. Now what's great about this is not only do we get the sort of standard iOS back button, and you will on the Android side of things too, but we also get a gesture that allows us to pull back. And this stuff comes free with the navigator. And this is one of the reasons why you're gonna use something like this because now we get all this fancy native app stuff that, well, is like super, super easy to do because of things like Expo. Okay, so we've added our go-to post, we've added this. Let's go ahead and actually copy and paste the navigation options from our component into our new post component paste these in and we can change the title to post and we'll leave the header style and background color and all this stuff as white and purple. We can check this out here. We can go to a page and we now have our new header. Okay. Of which we can pull back and now everything it's functioning very nice because well, we don't have this weird second color of header up here anymore. It all sort of flows together. Okay. So I mentioned before that there might be a way that we could simplify this stuff right here. Let's think about how we could do that. I'm going to make a new folder and this can just be styles. Okay. And then inside of styles, I'm going to make a new file, which will simply just be navigation. And we could say navigation styles.js. And inside of here, I'm going to export a default and then object. This is going to basically allow us to cut this stuff out of here. Let me actually cut it out instead of just typing the letter X, paste it in here. And what we're going to have is an object with our header style and all that sort of stuff in it. Now, like you might be expecting, we can import that here. We can import, you know, navigation styles is like way too long. Since this is the default export, we can say nav styles, and I'll change the name in a second. Nav styles from nav styles, just like this. Uh, let me actually do that, change the name right now in our styles, navigation styles. It's just too long. I don't know if I'm going to be importing this a lot. Nav styles says it all anyways. So we're going to be importing nav styles from dot forward slash styles forward slash nav styles. And now we can use this object in here with the spread operator just by doing dot, dot, dot nav styles. Let's check this out and see if this worked inside of our app. We can come in here, we can refresh and we can hit go to post and see that it did in fact get our header color, which means that we can come into our app now and do the same thing. Let's copy this import line and paste it up top here import nav styles. Now once again, we can delete all this stuff and say dot, dot, dot nav styles. Now, one of the cool things about this too, is it gives us the option of overriding some stuff. Uh, let's say we wanted for some reason, we wanted one of these pages to not be purple anymore, but we wanted this default style to be on here. Well, we could head into our post. And again, we could 
change the header background. I'm gonna copy this header style. I'm gonna delete this in a second, so don't worry about doing this yourself. But if we were to do something like this, we could do header background, and let's just set this to 003300, this super ugly four screen. And this is our post page, keep in mind. If we go to post, you can see we now get that ugly green. So by doing this spread operator here, we allow ourselves the ability to override when needed, but we can give ourselves some default styles without having to do too much work or uh, worse yet, having to retype the same code and having the code be wet instead of dry. Okay, so we've gotten some decent progress on this um, already in a few videos in here and we have legit navigation going on in our application, something we did not accomplish in the entire React Native for Everyone series. So as you can see here, the possibilities start to open up as you can see that we can change pages fairly quickly and you've now opened yourself up to multiple page applications of which we're gonna be using to the fullest extent to save and grab posts and edit and edit new posts. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you would like to complete this series, learn a lot more about React Native, a lot more about GraphQL, head on over to leveluptutorials.com and you can subscribe and become a pro, get access to this along with the React Native for Everyone series. Or if your subscriptions aren't your thing and that, that's cool too, you can purchase these series outright and purchase the React Native for Everyone in a bundle package if you want the complete React Native package or purchase them separately if you'd like. I definitely appreciate your support. Every single person that subscribes or purchases allows me to create new high quality tutorials just like these where you can vote and tell me what you want to see out of the channel. There's going to be so much cool stuff coming this year. So thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.